In this video, we will talk about the top 10 most amazing floating houses. Given on how busy a person's life could have been, more and more people are trying to invest in houses that others may found unconventional in terms of design and build. With a lot of house movements going on around the globe, people have started to live in small houses, in convertible trailers, and even on waters. What do you think will make this list? Before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell to get updates of our new uploads. At number 10, Lake Rock, Papineauville, Canada. When you think of cabins, you can picture it in areas near the woods, rivers, etc. But not this floating house. Lake Rock is a floating house located in Papineauville, Quebec, Canada. It is designed by a local builder in Quebec called Diagno. Looking at the house with walls made of cedar and plywood, it resembles a little wooden cabin that could be tucked away in the mountains, except that it is floating on water. Lake Rock comes in two versions, the P-Series and the V-Series. The P-Series is a setup for fishing, while the V-Series is designed for you to enjoy your weekend relaxation. The V-Series is larger among the two available models. It measures 20 by 10 foot deck with a large open patio and large glass sliding doors. It has solar panels for electric power and is moved by using an outboard motor on the rear. At number 9, Dusky Parakeet, London, UK. If you're single and willing to buy a property in central London that could be docked on ports and allows you to travel on waters within the area for a change of scenery, you would certainly love this custom-made one-bathroom houseboat that is for sale. The boat is called the Dusky Parakeet and is designed by 3144 Architects. The boat measures 60 by 12 feet with 470 square feet of living space. The Dusky Parakeet is also called the Wide Beam Canal Boat. The people who made the boat have paid much attention to detailing and craftsmanship and said every fitting has been handmade from the finest materials. The boat is powered by a diesel engine and an electric bow thruster. It also has a solar panel to allow you to go 100% off the grid and save on electricity and whatnot. It also has an abundant water storage tank that can allow you to stay on water for days without a refill. At number 8, Ginger, Westlake, Washington, USA. Ginger is a two-bedroom houseboat on Lake Union that is listed for sale by a specialty realty company in Seattle, Washington. It was built in 1985 and was rebuilt and completed in 2015. It has a great and lavish rooftop and front decks that give you an unobstructed view of the lake. Ginger features paneled exterior walls with large windows and a full-length sliding door. The 575 square foot living area includes a complete kitchen, two bedrooms, and a full washer dryer and dishwasher. At number 7, Turnip, Westlake, Washington, USA. Turnip is another one-bedroom boat that is anchored on Lake Union in Seattle, Washington area. Just like Ginger, Turnip was built in 1987 and was rebuilt and completed in 2015 too. The builders that made Turnip, the wonderful abode as she is, is the same that made Ginger. Turnip has 354 square feet of space aboard and offers its resident and guest a tranquil city escape. It's a bright red hull and red and blue accent colors. The interior is just quaint with wood panel wall plus a soaking tub and a sun deck on the roof. At number 6, the Black Swan, Latvia. Black Swan Marine built a 30-foot-long houseboat intended to carry up to six persons. They built a contemporary-designed houseboat that allows you to have fun on the water. It has a dark brown and white panel that is punctuated with large circular windows that makes the boat especially eye-catching. You can access a full-length top deck through an exposed circular staircase. The Black Swan Marine is fully maneuverable as it uses a 60-horsepower outboard gasoline motor. It even features the latest high-tech navigation tools in the cockpit as well as an MP3 player with Bluetooth. The Black Swan is a very nice place to hang out with friends and family on a weekend. At number 5, Rutabaga, Westlake, Washington, USA. Rutabaga is a floating classic two-story Seattle houseboat that is moored on Lake Union in the Seattle, Washington area. The boat was built in 1983 and was rebuilt and completed in 2014. 
Rutabaga has a total space of 413 square feet of space. The entire space features a large bedroom deck on the top floor and features a wooden plank roof and pastel green classic wall treatment. Its exterior showcases a brown horizontal sliding and it has a full kitchen with a dishwasher and washer dryer combo. The dock entrance has a gated entry to give you a homey vibe even if your house is on water. At number 4. Water Villa de Hoof, Netherlands The Netherlands is one of the best places where you can build a home. It has wonderful nature, beautiful architecture, crystal rivers, and more. The fourth floating home on our list is located in the Netherlands. The Water Villa de Hoof is a floating home marked by two huge story windows which accentuates the transparent design of the house. The house is designed to even have a level garden behind it. The floor of the living area is closer to the water level. Who would have thought that living on the water would be possible and even sustainable since this design even allows you to grow plants in your garden? The home also features a full front deck and a second-story balcony overlooking the water. At number 3, The Floating House, London, UK As mentioned earlier, there are movements across the globe that wishes to promote sustainable living in unconventional houses. It is termed unconventional given that the houses that people have been living in today are beyond the definition of conventional. While other people try to live in tiny homes or trailer trucks, others have also decided to create houses on the water to give people more choices to build a house. The UK designer and builder Turner Works is on board in such movement. The good news, everyone can access the plans and even allowed to download it so that more and more people can actually build such sustainable shelters. This lightweight house can be supported on a variety of structures, including a base within a floodplain, on poles, or even on a floating pontoon. Basically, you can build this house on the land and on water. Amazing, isn't it? At number 2. Power Catamaran, Cologne, Italy Yacht are vessels that you can ride on water. Some of them, just like RVs, have features that are useful for people who own them. Technically, they could serve as a living space, but you might have to tweak a few of its designs by adding a few pieces here and there to make it a sustainable living space. We bet that that was the builders Overblue have in mind when they combined a power catamaran with a houseboat and created one beautiful design. It creates an entirely new lifestyle, offering people a choice to live wherever and however they prefer. Definitely a new way of living on the water is being touted by the designers behind the sleek yacht houseboat. The houseboat is even more fuel efficient due to its hydrodynamic drag. The builders even have created six designs that you could choose one. If you prefer a more lavish power catamaran, you can find the one that features a penthouse. At number one. Orsus Islands, Austria This floating island is actually a houseboat on steroids. It has more than 10,000 square feet of living spaces and rooms up to 12 people as well as 4 staff members. The houseboat offers a luxury of a hotel suite and more. On the main deck, you can see an exotic aquarium, a large TV, a sunroof, a full kitchenette, a sitting area, and a bar. It includes a covered jacuzzi and barbecue area. There is a large entertainment venue with comfortable seating at the lower deck of the boats. The innovative design promises island living more comfortable and luxurious than just about any luxury yacht at cost-effective purchase and maintenance. The island is also themed green because of its eco-friendly features, such as using excess energy to treat salt water to make drinking water. It's powered by a wind energy system as well as solar panels making the most use of daylight. This just proves that you don't need much to survive. The sustainable living movement, as others say, is great to save on mortgage, electricity, and even allows you to make use of your remaining area to grow your own produce. More and more people have been involved in this type of living these days because it is more practical Plus, you can build on places where the view would be nice so you can distress. So, do you agree on our list today? Do you know floating houses that should have been included in our list? Let us know by leaving your comments below. If you found this video interesting, 
make sure to share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to get updates of newly updated informative videos from our channel. What top 10s would you like to see next? Let us know by leaving your comments below. Thank you for watching and see you next time!